This is an ABC News special report. Good morning. I'm with Johnson in New York. We're coming on the air right now with breaking news. A mass shooting following the end of a Lunar New Year's festival in Monterey Park, California. That's east of downtown Los Angeles. At least nine people reported killed. Let's get right to ABC's Matt Rivers, who is there on the scene. Matt, what can you tell us? Yeah, Whit, this is very much an evolving situation. So we want to tell our viewers at this point, this is something that we're really trying to figure out more information about. Let me get out of the way here and show you a little bit of what we see here. Relatively calm here at the scene. Uh, Monterey Park Police in conjunction with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. 24 hours later. The suspect has been identified as who, as who can tran. He is a 72-year-old male Asian. Is it too much to ask to let the facts come out first? Welcome to another installment of the Connecticut Gun Bench. Today's video is brought to you by PAN Firearms, LLC. PAN Firearms for NRA certification and multifaceted gun training. You can reach us at 203-300-6343 or use our website at www.panfirearmsllc.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description box below. Let's talk about this. Now, we know what happened Monterey Park during the Luna Festival. There was a mass shooting there, a so-called mass shooting. 10 people lost their lives and 10 were injured. I'm not really here to talk about that. What I want to talk about are two different aspects of this event. One was the immediate propagandizing of this event. And two, the very colorful language that was used to describe how this event went down and the implement that was used in this event. But first, I want to come over to here. This Fox News article, Schumer shift. Other liberals blame Monterey Park shooting on bigotry before the facts come out. As I said, is it not, you know, is it, could we just wait till the truth comes out first before we start talking? But no. Authorities say suspected gunman was Asian between the ages of 30 and 50. And I saw all over social media people saying another white right winger Trump supporter, blah, 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 blah. Now this information comes out and a lot of people got egg on their face, but some are so arrogant that they just go ahead and double down. But I'm gonna jump right in here. A gunman killed 10 people and injured 10 others at the Southern California Ballroom Dance Studio, Saturday amid Lunar Year Year celebrations. 20 or 30 minutes later, a man with a gun entered the, the La La Ballroom in nearby Albram, Alhambra, but patrons wrestled a gun, with, gun away from him, he fled, okay. Despite police not releasing the suspect's identity or race, some liberals on Twitter were quick to point the horror on white supremacy and anti-Asian hate before the, all the facts were known. I'm going to put these tweets up here. Chuck Schumer, your number one propagandist. We must stand up to bigotry and hate wherever they rear their ugly heads, and we must keep working to stop gun violence. Adam Schiff, another tool said Saturday shooting was a horrific example of needless gun violence with a bigotry towards AAPI, Asian American Pacific Islander, individual as a possible motive. Then, a Wisconsin state rep jumps in. We are broken as a nation to have mass shootings and white supremacy reign terror. Though not all details were known Saturday, Sunday afternoon, authorities said that the suspected gunman was an Asian man between the ages of 30 and 50. Like I said, you should see the arrogance of these people because these tweets that they put out are still up. They have not been removed. They have not put any disclaimer on it saying, hey, you know what? I jumped the gun. No. So then why do this? Why go off on the hinge like that without any information? Because they want to connect the white supremacy to gun control. White supremacists and assault weapons. That's the key that they're trying to push here, that Schumer, Schiff, and all these other people who ran off the rails before they had any information, because like I said, they rolled the racial dice, hoping it would come up for them. They rolled that, you know, rolled the hard seven, and they didn't. But that's what that's all about. But I'll leave this article, you can click on the Twitter links, 
unless of course you have a Twitter account and you can go to these and they got ripped to shreds. 99.9% .9 of responses, they just tore them apart and they deserve it. But they were kind of rolling the, you know, the racial dice, hoping and praying that it was a white person so they could turn around and then say we have now have validity. They jumped the gun and they paid the price for it. But it just shows you how, what the kind of mindset is. Because I'm going to tell you right now, they don't give a damn about these people who got shot. It's just somebody they can use to get their own agenda across. Do I have to point out other events where people have lost their lives, where a firearm was not involved, and they were completely ignored? Waukesha, anyone? Okay, Idaho. But that's one aspect of this that I wanted to talk about. Now, this person obviously took their own life. You should know the story by now. Obviously, we can read up on that. But I want to get into this other aspect of it. Now, when this first broke, they did not discuss the weapon that he used because it wasn't a rifle. And it wasn't an assault style because if it wasn't a so-called assault rifle, it would be, you would have pictures of it, the manufacturer, who made the magazines, who made the ammunition. We'd hear all that whole story. But it comes to find out that this person apparently used, I'm going to get a picture of it and put him up with it. He used what is a MAC-10 from what we could see. Now, a MAC-10 is not an assault rifle, but I want you to listen to the sheriff. There's a name, Luna, out there in Monterey Park. Listen to what he has to say. Uh, the weapon that we recovered at that second scene, I'm describing as a magazine-fed semi-automatic assault pistol. Not an assault rifle, but an assault pistol that had an extended large capacity magazine uh, attached to it. Heard that and you saw that. Yeah. Yeah. An assault pistol. Now we've upgraded our definitions and language so that we can pull anything that we want into the category of assault. We wouldn't call the SUV at Waukesha an assault SUV. The knife at Idaho is an assault knife. No, but anytime it's a firearm, boom, we could jump right in and change that up. And this just shows you the agenda and the propaganda that these people are pushing it has nothing to do with these people's lives. They don't care about them. It's about what can we put through? What can we push? What event can we use to basically brace up our ideals and our agenda on gun control? As far as I can, and, and Californians help me out, but as far as I know, the gun that he used was illegal in California. The magazine that he used was illegal. And from the looks of things, he had what appeared to be a suppressor style item attached to the front. You've already got three items that, by all speculation, should not have been legal in that state to start with. But once again, shows you that gun control does not work. It does not work. And I find it fascinating, personally, how these events are used. I'm sure they're gonna go out now and I'm sure the Democrats are gonna line up all you know, the victims' families behind them and talk about how we need gun control. But they were not gonna line up the victims of other events where people lost their lives to something other than a firearm and say, we need this kind of control or that kind of control because it's not about that. It is not, they don't care about these people. That's really the saddest part about it is who can they use to get what they want. That's been their MO for decades. So I'm guaranteeing you very, very, very shortly, you're gonna have Biden come out and talk about gun control here. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna happen probably within, not even, I would say within hours of me making this. But there it is, it's, all, it's, it's always, these things are always about politics. It's always about politics. And we have to be smarter than that, okay? And on top of that, I'll go even farther to say that California gun control laws allowed that to happen because the chances of somebody else being there armed with a firearm were pretty much, you know, very, very, very limited. So this guy had free reign to do what he wanted and go on to the next thing. And on top of that, there's no real motive for this guy to do this as far as, far as I've read. Apparently, this was a personal beef that he had. It was a personal dispute that led him to do this. It wasn't 
hatred because, well, they're Asian, he's Asian. So they can't spin that narrative. So they're going to have to go with the gun control narrative because they damn sure can't spin white supremacy out of this one, no matter how hard they try. But let me know what you think. As always, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, any statements of violence, the statements that lead to violence will be removed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified the next time a video goes live. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.